Hello, 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 hello. This week I am starting a new project. Well, no project in our house is really new. I feel like we've at some point touched everything over the years and it's just that like each project in, is in different levels of like phases of doneness. <laughs> so this project we've already done a ton on. But the thing is that we sort of, for several reasons, kind of had to leave it unfinished because it just, we had to have access to the walls. We had to like, there's a lot of reasons. We had to kind of like leave it half finished. I'm going to introduce you to our half bath. So we have, like I said, already done a lot of work to this room. I'll pop up a photo of what it looked like when we bought the house. So it was, um, had been redone probably in like the 70s or 80s, not 100% sure, but definitely somewhere in there from looking at the work and the materials and stuff like that. We were hoping to save the floor and stuff like that, but you know, it was in, actually in really bad shape once you looked at it. Plus we really needed to get access to the floors um, because where I'm standing is in our entryway. So our entryway and our little half bath are connected and underneath of them was never cemented. Like the foundation was never cemented, it was just dirt. There was termite problems when we bought the house and so we were basically like, no dirt in the basement. So we ended up pulling up that floor in the half bath anyway. Um, the floor in the entryway was original. So we ended up going with wood floors to match our original ones. We were able to find salvage floors from a similar aged house. And so my amazing husband was able to sort of feather them in. You can kind of see like these are uh, original floors. Those are salvage floors. I won't go into in depth into all of the things that we had to do for this little bathroom already, but we already did quite a lot, including, so, you know, in the original photo, you'll probably see there was wainscoting. However, it was not good wainscoting. This was like 70s, 80s, cheapo hardware store, like bottom of the barrel wainscoting. It was in terrible shape. So we ended up pulling that out. Uh, a house that like one of our family members inherited, it had to be torn down. It was older, 1890s, I think. And it had some original, beautiful, like real wood wainscoting. So we ended up salvaging that out of the house and we ended up putting that in here. Super cute, right? However, we were missing pieces of it. Like we didn't have the top trim from it because that had already like broken off over the years and it's very beat up. It's got a lot of holes in it. So it is beautiful and it is awesome. However, over the years I've come to the conclusion that like paint would be the best way to go with this. So let me just show you the bathroom. Okay, this is a teeny tiny bathroom. You might notice from the original photos that like it was set up slightly differently. So it was originally set up with the toilet facing it, like the back up against that wall. And literally I'm taller, but like not crazy tall. I was hitting my knees up against this wall. So we ended up moving that that direction. Since we were missing that top trim piece, we tried a few different things and we ended up going recently with this little like, mini shelf ledge it's very small we also got this sink salvaged i think we got it from like an antique store or I, I i honestly forget it's been a long time the one that was in here was like a very classic 1990s sink like if you know i'll put up the picture because like if you had one of those growing up then you know exactly what i'm talking about because we had like the same sink in my childhood bathroom so super funny so but we wanted something a little more antique so we ended up with this in one way or another <laughs> and my thought is it is like pitted and it's got it's it's looking a little sad in some places so i found a kit for online um, to sort of DIY refinish them. So we're gonna try to do it ourselves. I need to replace, I got this this kit off Amazon and so disappointed because not long after I got it, this started chipping off. Ugh. So anyway, the rest of it has been good, but I need to replace that piece. We're gonna do that. But some of the bigger things are, so I actually just finished refinishing this window. This is an original window to the house. It was really important to me that we actually keep it, but I will put up some video or like photos from it because this was like in really sad shape, especially on the outside of it. It was about to fall apart on the outside. So I took that down this summer 
and I completely restored it and it is back in place, which is great, but I have a few little things to like, need to fill in some holes and just finish it completely. And then here is where we had to punch some holes in the wall in order to get access for like electrical and all of that stuff. And so we've had these, these lovely holes here for quite some time, but we are finally done, which is so exciting. So I need to fill those. So that's probably the first thing that I'm gonna do is try to close those up. And then I really, really, and maybe I'm crazy, but I'm really, really wanting to do wallpaper like all above the wainscoting. So like painted wainscoting, I'm thinking something kind of dark and moody and then doing a wallpaper all the way up. Anyway, I thought I would take you guys along with me on this little makeover journey. So I think we're gonna get started on filling those holes up there. Um, so anyway, it'll be interesting to try to fit my camera or I might end up using my phone to get some shots um, because this space is just so teeny tiny. But anyway, let's get to work. Okay, so we are gonna fill these holes. Um, but in order to fill these holes, I'm gonna use a trick that I have used before. I got it from Instagram, but it has worked like a charm every single time I've used it. I've had no problems with it. Anyway, so I have some drywall and I'm basically going to like hold it up. You'll see, hold it up, sort of trace the shape with my razor blade and then I can just like peel off the backing. So um, I'm gonna put it the brown side towards me. Okay, so you can see sort of the outline of the shape. It doesn't need to be perfect, but it just needs to be able to fit in there and fill like, you know, a good 85% of the hole, I'd say. So then where I made those score marks, I can just pop off and then gently pull the drywall away from the backing because you want to leave the backing. It's important. See, so I just have like the the backing paper left. So I'm going to do that all around the piece. All right, it came off pretty good. Let's see it. So it's just like one piece of drywall with this nice little backing, which will come in handy when I actually like adhere it to the wall. So, but we gotta make sure it actually fits because I many times have cut it to the wrong size. Actually, I can see why it's not fitting. There's this one chunk of plaster that is in the way. So I'm gonna get a hammer and see if I can just knock it out. All right, fingers crossed I don't make a drastically bigger hole. Okay, now let's see if it'll fit in there. Yes, 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 it fits. So you can see, I'll just like lightly hold it. It fits in there perfectly. So we'll move on to the next step. When the morning stands in that you do Life won't wait. 
almost done. Woo! So some people are able to go like really like clean finish on the first pass. However, I kind of leave mine. I, I don't go too crazy because I that like drywall paper can kind of break down in a weird way, or at least I tend to mess it up if I go too heavy. So did a fairly light coat, just enough to like hold them on there. Gonna let that dry. And then probably tomorrow we're gonna come back and do like a much nicer clean coat of compound over top to smooth everything out. And then we can sand and then hopefully it'll be nice and pretty and you'll never know that there was giant holes all over the bathroom, so. Good morning, good morning. So we let the, oh, hi Dutch. You see her up there? <laughs> um, anyway, good morning. So we let the mud from yesterday dry. All that stuff up there is nice and dry now. That's just coming down the stairs. If you can hear her tip tapping. Anyway, <laughs> so this morning I wanted to try to get, since it's just a small area that I have to do, I wanted to try to get um, the, a second coat of mud on top of it this morning. I have some stuff going on this afternoon, so I thought it'd be nice to get it done this morning, let it dry, so I can make some incremental progress on this project. I always feel like some of these projects are funky like that where it's not necessarily like a lot of work where like I have to be in there for hours and hours and hours, but like there's like, you know, dry time and stuff like that. And so you just kind of have to like pick at it almost like every single day or else it'll never get done. So that's what we're going to do this morning. And your lover's reaching you the hand. So I am thinking, let's wrap up here, and next time I will take you along as I prep all the wainscoting, like sand that down, finish like the top of it. Um, I gotta sand that once it dries, all that fun stuff, and then maybe we can get to actually fun stuff, primering, painting. Anyway, thank you for coming along with me today. I hope you are having a lovely week, and I will see you next time. This is kind of a big deal. Just finished sanding the bathroom. Yeah, it really just kind of looks dirty.